Although he is 94 years old, Mickey Mouse is without a doubt the most iconic of Walt Disney's animated characters and arguably the most popular cartoon character in the world. In today's lesson, we'll take a look at a clip from an episode of a time when Mickey and his friends tried to surprise Minnie by painting her new home. But before we do that, each week we create fun lessons like this to help English learners like you understand fast speaking natives without getting lost, without missing the jokes and without needing subtitles. So if you haven't already done so, join our global community of over 6 million learners by hitting that subscribe button and bell down below so you never miss out on any of our new lessons. Fellas, I gather you here today because this is Minnie's new house and I really want to surprise her by painting it before she gets back. It's got polka dot paint, big flowery hat, cutesy mootsy bow. That's good, Noel. But I like to see where inspiration takes me. Oh, no, 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 no. I've got it all worked out. All we need is polka dot paint, an old fashioned paintbrush, and we'll be done in no time. Agree to disagree. Fellas, I gathered you here today because this is Minnie's new house, and I really want to surprise her by painting it before she gets back. So Mickey uses connected speech here. When the words want and to are next to one another, the T at the end of want and at the beginning of to both become silent. Then the O in to takes on a schwa sound, a, uh, a. Uh. So together, these two words become wanna, wanna. The words then flow into each other to sound like, I really want to surprise her. I really want to surprise her. Listen again. And I really want to surprise her by painting it before she gets back. It's got polka dot paint, big flowery hat, cutesy mootsy bow. When something is flowery, it is covered with many or has big flowers. However, flowery has another meaning. If a speech or writing style is flowery, it uses too many complicated or unusual words or phrases. Oh, Violet, if, if I know a thing or two about legends, it's that all this flowery underworld language is just a cover for a con. Come on! We usually refer to a flower pattern as a floral pattern. For example, she is wearing a floral dress. This is an informal, almost childish expression used when we want to say that something is extremely or excessively cute. For example, the baby looked cutesy wootsy in her new dress. That's good, Noel, but I like to see where inspiration takes me. We say that we will see where something takes us when we are not sure what the end result will be or what will happen in the future. So Goofy is saying that he enjoys painting whatever he is inspired to do without actually planning the end result. For example, you could say, I'll see where the road takes me, which means I'll drive without planning the destination. Or we'll see where the relationship takes us which means we're not sure yet about the future of our relationship. Another way you could say this would be to see where a situation goes. Check out this example from Friends. You're not expecting a proposal, right? Oh, no, no, not at all. Okay. <laughs> we're just moving in right now. We'll see where it goes. Are you feeling inspired to improve your English but you're not sure where to start? Well, with our Fluent with Friends course, you will have fun while greatly improving your understanding of fast speaking natives, learn the vocabulary you actually need to communicate, and master grammar in context. You can try our course right now for free with our three-part masterclass. Simply sign up now by clicking up here or down in the description below. Agree to disagree. So if two people who are arguing about something agree to disagree, they decide to stop arguing because neither of them is going to change their opinions. Overhearing teenagers at the pier might not be the best way to get information. Mm, I would agree to disagree because that's actually how I learned that green scrunchies are out. Hey, Mick, 
I'm all done. I just let inspiration take me someplace mystical. What? The plan was polka dots, remember? Polka dots. Why aren't you painting? Just use a brush. Come on, you're wasting time. Right down. Hold on a sec, buddy. Hey, Mick, I need more paint. I'm looking good, am I right? What is wrong with you people? This is an idiomatic expression, which means that a situation is easy and without any problems. Imagine a ship sailing through rough waters. It would be dangerous and difficult to reach your destination, right? However, when the waters are calm, it's much easier to get where you need to be. That's why when a situation is good and without any trouble, we say that it is smooth sailing. Now go, be free! Should be smooth sailing from here. <laughs> Here's a quick tip about writing. So when a writer repeats the consonant sounds at the beginning of a word, in this case smooth and sailing both start with the consonant S. This is called alliteration. Although there are several reasons to use it, the main reason to use alliteration in writing is that it sounds pleasing. It gets the attention of the readers or listeners. Let us know down in the comments if you would like to learn more about how to improve your writing in English. I just let inspiration take me someplace mystical. Things that are mystical are magical or mysterious, usually having to do with the supernatural or spiritual. So when something or some place is mystical, it cannot easily be understood or explained. Together, we would pull off the greatest illusion of all! Shut it, Black Art. I would bewilder you mere mortals with my mystical powers. Shut it, Black Art. Just use a brush! Come on, you're wasting time! Did you notice the connected speech here? Instead of saying, come on, the O in come becomes a schwa, as the E at the end of come is silent. When the two words link together, it sounds like, come on, come on. Come on, you're wasting time! Right down. So which of these do you think means the same as what gives? What is happening? What is going on? Or what is wrong? All of them are correct. What gives is an informal expression and is something you ask when you aren't sure why someone is doing something or acting in a certain way. So for example, if someone has been behaving strangely, you could say, you've been acting weird all week. What gives? Here's another example from the movie Turbo. All right, give me the keys. I'll drive the first shift home. Oh, what gives? Oh, oh. Hold on a sec, buddy. It's common for us to shorten words when we speak casually with friends and family. So here, instead of saying, hold on a second, he reduces second to sec. We usually use this expression to ask someone to wait for a short moment. Some other examples of words that are commonly shortened include laboratory becomes lab, Limousine becomes limo, to the maximum becomes to the max, and legitimate becomes legit. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I did not mean to scare you. I... Wait, no, no, no. Wait, oh, hold on. Ah! Looking good, am I right? So when Goofy asks, am I right? He isn't actually expecting an answer. This is because he's asking a rhetorical question, which means this is a question asked in order to make a statement that does not expect an answer. In other words, he actually believes he did a good job painting. Marceline, where is she? Oh boy, I, I wish I knew. No love lost there, am I right? Now let's test what you've learned today. I gathered you here today because this is Minnie's new house, and I really want to surprise her by painting it before she gets back. It's got polka dot paint, big flowery hat, cutesy mootsy bow. That's good, Noel, but I like to see where inspiration takes me. Oh, no, 
no, no, no. I've got it all worked out. All we need is polka dot paint, an old-fashioned paintbrush, and we'll be done in no time. Agree to disagree. Which of these means the same as agree to disagree? Agree to differ? Agree to argue? I beg your pardon? Which of these options uses alliteration? Eat your egg, fly in the pie, baby boy Bruce. Hey Mick, I'm all done! I just let inspiration take me someplace mystical. What? The plan was polka dots, remember? Polka dots. Why are you painting? Just use a brush. Come on, you're wasting time. Right down. Hold on a sec, buddy. What does Mickey mean when he says this? Get angry. Calm down. Be excited. Hey, Mick, I need more paint. Looking good, am I right? What is wrong with you people? <laughs> If you enjoyed today's lesson, why not watch this one next? Hey Real Lifers! So many of my students ask me, where's the best place to start learning new vocabulary? My answer, probably right at home. So today I'm going to teach you some important vocabulary around the home as well as some interesting idiomatic expressions related to objects in the home. For example, do you know the difference between a photograph and a portrait? 